How long we got the port, sir? Two days, cans. Most of which time you'll be cooking, marching, or cleaning ship. We'll hold this course till we're off Townsville Harbour, Rob. Glad to get in. Anything planned for tonight? The army are entertaining us, if that's the word to use. Oh, I know what you mean. Army towns always make me edgy. All that brass is a pain in exactly. Everybody above the rank of major outranks me. It makes life pretty difficult. Well, it's good training in diplomacy. Yes, it's that all right. hospitality is generous to the point of being frightening. No one from this ship's company will abuse that hospitality. There are also a large number of young persons of the female persuasion. Some of these ladies are considered to be army property. So I suggest that if you're tempted to borrow some of this property, you'll do it discreetly, use it carefully, and return it in the condition in which you found it. Heck. Give us the one about the evils of drink, will you? That's my favourite. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Cairns, I was just coming to that. The wreath-laying ceremony will begin at 1,300 hours. No one, but no one, will touch any beer or alcohol until after the ceremony. Understood? Come to ask for your hand. Or whatever else you're not using. What's this idiot want? Hey, let me drink my fill of your beer. <laughs> Gee, try drinking your fill of this. <laughs> you ever have back one of those days when you wish you didn't get out of bed? <laughs> Okay, that's it, that's it, no more. Come on. I said that's it, was he? Now, I reckon it's your shout. Buy one for your mate here. Ah, you can shove your beard. Okay, well, she can buy me one. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. 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 You own me. <laughs> now listen, you guys. If you don't start behaving yourselves, we're not going to get out of here with our heads on our shoulders. It's been a quiet day. No trouble, surprisingly. Apparently not, sir, although I think not so surprising. Oh, you know what it's like. Old reputations are hard to live down. Mm. Yes, apparently. Though I uh, fail to see how 19 sailors could uh, 
cause much of a problem amongst 2,000 soldiers. <laughs> but you know how it is. Oh, fellow, see your chaps cruising around in their own private yacht, visiting the islands, doing a spot of fishing when they feel the need for some exercise. Girl in every port, that sort of thing. Spot of jealousy. Well, I wouldn't put it that strongly. And Navy life isn't quite so idyllic. Just a little more strenuous. Oh, really? So you feel they're in pretty good shape, eh? I'd say so. I wasn't going to suggest it before, but since you feel they're up to it... Up to what? Football. We've got a pretty good rugby team. Be glad to arrange a match. Tomorrow, perhaps. <laughs> well, our ship's company numbers 22, officers and men. I doubt very much whether we could put together 15 rugby players. <laughs> no problem. We'll play seven aside. Agreed? Wednesday afternoon, then. Why not? Probably do them all good to expend a little energy. Right, are we all ready? Right, the hands on chicks. Thanks to be here. Chuck it on. There seems to be some dissension over the result. No dissension. I suggest. I suggest that each team select its champion and they settle it man to man in the finest traditions of version. I nominate Swain. All right, all right, just this once, okay? Whatever you say, Swain. All right, Army, where's your champion? Bring him on. Ron Sinclair. Bill Reynolds. Oh, hang on. A bit dry. <laughs> All right. You know the rules. Hands on cheeks. Face your beer. Chug a luck. What about best of three? You can do it, Swain. Yeah, come on, Swain. You can do it, mate. Follow the makers. Yeah. Yeah. What? Nip a whiskey with it. Old local custom. Done. Yeah. Right up. Here we go. Hands on cheeks. Gentlemen. Hey, you need a hand buff? No, nah, well, it's okay. Sorry. Round right, here. Swine,
Hi. Will you look at that? Come on, you think we had nothing to do all day. Come on, Walsh. Well, what's on, mate? Look at him. Ta da! Oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> There's going to be all hell to pay when they find it's gone. So we've got to find somewhere to hide it. Hey, come to the X, mate. Come to the X. So? Yeah. What's this? The uh, st stitching's rotten on the fender X. We thought we'd fix it. Wonders will never cease. Sir, with all respect, I'm not prepared to accept blame on behalf of my men. I doubt very much that they are responsible. Seriously, Keating, who else do you think would have done it? Well, I don't know. I just don't think it's my men. I think they've got more sense. Really? From what I've heard of the activities in the mess last night, I'd have my doubts. I gather they weren't alone in the mess, sir. They were guests of the army. Which makes the theft of the crest all the more reprehensible. Well, I don't know that we'd call it theft, Major. All we want is a thing returned. Yes, I'd agree, sir. Last thing we want to do is call in the police. I can understand that. You say your sentry was on duty. Hey. Well, what do you think? As our friend Major Barrett said, who else would have taken it? It'll make a nice souvenir for them. I want to return, Charlie. Hmm? I want it back where it belongs, with as little trouble as possible. Better sit down, Swain, before you fall down. Not feeling a hundred percent, X. No, I've seen a three-day-old corpse I had a better colour. We had kind of a heavy night at the sergeant's mess. Ah, you were there. Well, I was a bit boozy, admittedly. You're going to have to give it back to them, you know. The skipper's uh, quite adamant about it. I'm not real bright at the minute, X. I wonder, would you mind telling me what we're talking about? The crest, Swain. The army's crest. A crest, Swain? What sort of crest? Walsh, when you look innocent, it means there's a lot of guilt around here somewhere. Now, I'm in no condition to argue. The skipper wants it back. What you need, Swain, is a hair of the dog. <laughs> Good day, fellas. Thanks to you, I need this. Same again, love. I'd keep an eye on the cash register if I was you. Six beers, miss. And take for our mates out of that. We'll pay for our own. We don't think it's funny. <laughs> what don't you think is funny? <laughs> You're talking about the crest. Yes, I'm talking about the crest that you bludger stole. I can understand you being suspicious. We didn't take your crest. Paul. All I can say is, I know my men. I asked them if they had it, they said they didn't. And that's good enough for me. Well, it's not good enough for me! So you better get these bloody rams of yours to return it smart. Or you'll be in a lot more trouble than you can handle. Let me tell you something, Sergeant Major. I said, we didn't take your crest. Swain. We're not here to make trouble, but if that's what you want, we'll accommodate you. All right, Walshy. It's your shout. Look, Swain, we didn't mean to get you involved. We'll, we'll give it back. I said it's your shout. 
we'll give it back when I say so. And not before. I had hoped that whoever was responsible would have had the intelligence to return the crest. Since that hasn't been done, a search will be carried out on the whole ship. Now, I'm just as unhappy about it as you are. So before I ask Lieutenant Fisher, Swain and Buffer to carry out the search, there'll be a moratorium of 15 minutes. If the crest is placed in the officer's wardroom during that time, there'll be no recriminations and the incident will be forgotten. Fifteen minutes. Carry on, next. Sir. Company. Crop. Is Miss. Right, start the search, X. for fish eggs. Ship upside down. Looked everywhere, Skipper. Swain. I can guarantee it, Skipper. That crest isn't on board the ship. Nice to be here. I hope you've been enjoying your visit, David. Nice to have the Navy in for a change. Eh, uh, Colonel? Yes, very nice, Mr. Mayor. And, as you say, a change. Mm. The missus has always been very keen on the Navy. Isn't that right, Ed? Excuse me. Uh, about this crest business. Colonel, I've already explained. I accept what you tell me. You searched the ship and couldn't find it. I only wish that was an end to it. Well, as far as I'm concerned, sir, it is. There's nothing more that I can do. Unfortunately, there is something more that I can do. Help back, help together. It's the disgrace of it, that's what gets me. Oh, come on, Ron. We don't even know if they've got it. They've got it? We're going to get it back. How? They're going to bring it. Have a 
car, sir? What? Oh, yeah, I'll come down. putting that music through up here, eh? Can do? You've got it, sir. Well, we know where it is, don't we? The army think we've got their crest, so they've gone one better. How the hell did they get aboard and steal an anchor? It weighs a ton. Well, the police are going to have more on their plate than they expected. The police, Skipper? Yeah. Colonel Carroll's going to have them called in. All right. 
Bill. Off the record. What about that crest? Come on, I saw your reaction up there. If the police are brought There's in... There's no then... need for that, sir. Huh. So, we have got the crest, right? You searched the ship, sir? Yes, I know I did. So did you. Alone. Do I have to start all over again? It's up to you, X. Well, it would make it a lot easier if you told me where the crest is. All I can tell you is, it's not on board the ship, sir. Right. the ship. Your anchor. Yes, sir. I'm afraid I don't find the humour in it. No, I felt the same way about our crest. A big thing, I suppose. Way quite a bit, wouldn't it? Colonel. And quite a tricky job getting off with that. But you did have a watch posted. Well, it just goes to show you, doesn't it, how vulnerable a ship can be. A lesson there somewhere, Keating? I hadn't realised we were in a hostile port, sir. Well, I uh, suppose we'd better do something to help you get it back. And we can't have the Navy losing their anchors all over the place. Perhaps we could detail some men to help you search. Perhaps it would help more, sir, if you made some inquiries among your men to find out who stole it. It seems that taking a crest is souveniring, Keating, but taking an anchor is theft. Is that how you see it? This whole thing has gone beyond a joke, sir. No, Swain. I've talked to you once about this already. And don't give me any of that bilge about the crest not being on board. I know it's not on board. I want that anchor back. I don't give a damn how you do it. Just so long as it's done without trouble. It's up to you two. Us two? How the hell did I get involved in this? You want to exchange our crest for your anchor? The way I heard it, you didn't know where our crest was. All right. We'll exchange the crest we don't know about for the anchor you don't know about. Well, I don't know. We've got pretty attached to that anchor. We were thinking of setting it up on the gates after you'd gone. I think we could probably find something just as amusing to do with your crest. Look, how about this? How about we organise some sort of competition? Winner takes all. Crest and anchor. Oh, uh, now we can't be in that. What sort of competition? Well, I don't know. Darts? Beer drinking. You've got to be kidding. All right, you want the anchor back. We're playing your rugby tomorrow. That's the trophy. An anchor and a crest. Now you look. are on. Is everybody crazy, Swain? There's 19 of us and 2,000 of them. It's seven against seven, all right? What else could we do? Do you play football? Oh, come on, Peter. Three seasons as prop with Randwick reserve grade. What about you? Oh, sure, second grade. Well, there's two for a start. Rover? What? Rover. I played Aussie rules. My God. You've got to be joking. 
What happens if you lose? But we don't intend to lose, sir. Well, I can say, Swain, you better not. Because if you do, you won't just be losing an anchor. There's a damn good chance you'll be losing a sub-lieutenant and a skipper as well. You better make sure your team understand that. It's a bit rough, Swain. I mean, it wasn't the skipper's fault or the subs. You know as well as I do, the Navy holds them responsible. Well, we're just going to have to win then, aren't we? That's about the size of it. Right, let's choose the team. I nominate Swain for captain. He's got the experience, not to mention the poetic justice. <laughs> All right. Who's played before? I had four, five, including me. What about you, Bruno? Oh, forget it. <laughs> Sparks, you played football before? Soccer, Swain. Played soccer all my life. Six. Seven. <laughs> well, at least we've got the numbers. Look, there's something I think you ought to know. The word is that this mob won the Army Rugby competition two years running. <sighs> Thought you'd like to know. Well, I'm playing. I can't see us having any trouble. Fact is, it'll be a piece of cake. But we're not taking any chances, right? You play hard and you play to the final bell. I don't want to just sneak in. I want to see a cricket score. All right? Yes, sir. Come on, come on, get it out. Out, not board. Pass it, pass, pass, pass. Not on the roof. Here, run it quicker. No. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Not board. On that ball. I think we could save a lot of face by simply withdrawing. Uh, I don't think we should do that. There's something you better know. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Ten points start. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> Fifteen points. I hope that isn't an offer, sir. <laughs> now, perhaps I'd better try Keating. Oh, but then he'd probably want a bigger start. Slaughtered. Yeah, I've seen enough. Hey, look, just slip away casually, right? Try not to get seen. What's on? Just do what I say. Well, that's great, isn't it? Look, we were told we were welcome in your mess any time we wanted. Not since you blokes stole our crest. Yeah, well, that's all over now. You blokes won the footy. Eh? Killed us. Yeah, so you got the lot. Your crest and our stuff. Yeah, congratulations, mate. Call up a few reserves, copper. Come on, mate. Hope your information's right, Walshy. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 
Served it, Swain. I'll get back to the game. You put that anchor back and get that out of sight. Yeah, okay. Don't take your eyes off that anchor, right? Look, mate, this time I'll take the ship to get it. Well, tough luck, David. Quite a uh, cricket score, I'm afraid. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Uh, well, it's not for a gold cup after all. Uh, no, sir. No, it wasn't. I'm glad to see that you're taking it so well. But perhaps you'd uh, like to join us back at the mess for a drink. Thank you, sir, but perhaps you'd like to join us. After all, we are the losers. Of course. Glad. Well, can we offer you something to drink, sir? Well, a whiskey would do nicely. Is this some sort of a joke, Chichi? Uh, no, sir. Your crest was uh, found by my people. We're returning it to you. Something like a trophy, sir. I see. I gather I'm not supposed to ask questions. No, sir. Very well. Thank you, Keaton. Accept it in the spirit that it's given. Sergeant Major? <laughs> Thought you might like something more your size. I think today I might just take it steady. I might just do the same. It's been a hard day. Yes, it has been. Look, uh, about that anchor. I get the message your skipper might be in a bit of trouble. Well, the Navy doesn't take kindly to anyone losing their equipment. All right, no promises, mind you, but um, 
I'll see what I can do about getting it back. Sergeant Major, you're all heart. Gentlemen, if I could uh, have your attention for a moment, please. Today, the Army had the pleasure of playing football against our naval brothers. As you know, the Navy played gallantly, but were a little outclassed. However, all those defeated, they have acted like gentlemen and sportsmen. Now, lest it be said that the army could be outdone in sporting gestures, it is our turn. I think it only fair that having recovered our crest, not now, Major. Uh, yes, now, sir. Uh, it seems that the uh, missing anchor has again disappeared. Uh, sir, excuse me. I think there's been some mistake. There's no anchor missing from defiance. Well, there does seem to have been some sort of a mistake, sir. Yes, apparently so. Another scotch, sir. Yes. Why not? This whole childish business of taking souvenirs is getting totally out of hand. I don't know what gets into them. Well, sir, if you'll excuse me, it's um, just an old Navy tradition. Well, it's an old Navy tradition that very nearly landed you, Swain, and God knows who else, in jail. Yes, sir. I just hope this whole sorry business has been a lesson to everybody on board. I'm sure it has, sir. Stop these up. Thank uh, you, kids. Cans? What is that on your head? It's a hat, sir. 